The very popular all-in-one AI app called OpenArt have just recently come out with a new development by which you can use the new Flux Context Max model to combine four different images and then form a single image from the elements of those respective reference images. For example, in this demo, we're gonna see the combination of these following four images. One is gonna be the headshot of this woman. She's gonna be our model for the final image. Then we're gonna place this elaborate suit on her. I've deliberately chosen something which has a loud design. So we will be able to judge the consistency. We'll be using these pink heels that she'll be wearing and then she'll be sitting on this particular couch. So can Flux Context Max handle all these, all these four images and give us a single output? So let's see how to do this. So the first thing that you'll do is you're gonna go over to the Open Art website. The link is in the description as well as the images have been provided to download in the description. Once you do create your account, you get 40 free credits in case you don't have a paid plan. Each edit on the Flux Context Max model will cost you 10 credits, so you can do this four times even on the free plan. Once you see this interface, you're gonna go over to Create Image, and there the first thing that you need to do is select the correct model here. So you can see it says Flux Context Max, but if you're doing it for the first time, there's a good chance that Flux Context Pro, the inferior one would have been selected. So make sure Flux Context Max is selected because you can access this Omni reference feature with the four image uh, feature with Pro also. It's just that the results are not as good as the Max. Max is the most superior model that Flux Context has. So make sure you select this. Then we need to do two things. We need to write a prompt which will combine all the four images that you saw before. And then we also, right here, if you just scroll down, so you can see sometimes this is a bug in OpenArt. It just changes the model on its own. So I'm just gonna select Max again. And this time you can see. So the prompt will come here. But first of all, let's, in this Omni reference feature, let's upload all these four images one by one. All right, so all our four images are ready. Now we need a prompt which is gonna combine all of this. And for this, you can go over to chat GPT and what I did was I basically uploaded all these four images and I've just given a very simple prompt which is give a prompt to combine all these images in such a way that the woman in the uploaded image is wearing this suit and heels and is sitting on the couch. And you can see that chat GPT got that and this is what it gave us. So we're gonna copy this, put this inside the prompt. And finally, we can select how many uh, number of images that we want. So if this is set to two, like I said, per edit is 10. So it's gonna cost me 20 credits. Since I'm on the paid plan, I don't mind uh, more variations. You can also select the output size and change the aspect ratio. So I'm gonna go in for something because there's a couch here. So I'm gonna go for, uh, in for something that is horizontal. So I don't mind widescreen. And that's about it. We are all set. We're gonna hit create and let's wait for these four results. The results are not always perfect, but it definitely does a better job than Flux Context Pro. All right, so our results are ready. Let's have a look. So we're gonna open up the first image and you can see that it's the same woman, the same dress. The consistency looks great on that pattern on that suit, same heels and the same couch. And this is absolutely fantastic. Let's look at the second one. I think this also looks good, but I think the pose in the first image was much better. And I think till now, definitely the first image is better. I think this also looks really nice. I think this one is the best with her hand on the couch here. And then because this is an all-in-one AI app, you can do so many things. Because right now in open art, the resolution of the images that you get is not that great. So I can always upscale it. So when I, I can choose this upscale mode here, you get different modes. Since there's a face involved, you don't want the face to change when you upscale an image. Therefore, in open art, actually, they have this feature. So here I can say increase the resolution two times, but let me choose how much the face changes. So if I hit this option, it provides me with this option where if I drag this towards the lower side, that means I'm saying you have the liberty to change the face a bit, but I don't want that. So I'm just going to drag it higher. You can see that higher values keep more of the same face. And that's about it. We, go, we can just hit click to upscale. And within a few seconds, we'll also get a higher resolution version of this image. And you can see this is ready. So we can now close this and our image is all set. So we can just open this up. Let's download it and let's have a look. As you can see, this is pretty amazing. Now, does it still have that bit of an AI-ish look? Yes, but this has just been, it's just been a few days since this feature has been released. But just the very fact that in such a realistic way, we can just take in the elements from the different images, keep the consistency, especially when it comes to the face and complex patterns is something we have not seen before because there are other platforms which can do this, but they often get things like the head size wrong or maybe some other object, they can make it bigger or smaller. But here, if you see 
the proportions of the different things, this looks pretty good. So I plan to do more experiments with this. So in case you want to follow along such experiments in the AI image and editing world, make sure you subscribe. And in case this video helped you out, do give it a like and I will see you next time.